So let's jump into adjusting the lasers. You use two sets of lasers to adjust. There's the shot indicating laser, and if you have a pro model, that's the green laser. And then there's a take up laser as you're prepping the trigger. So let's talk about the shot indicating laser first, because that's the one probably you really want to adjust. If you're really pounding this thing around, dropping it in the mat room, doing defensive tactic work, they will come out of alignment a bit, and you just got to line them back up. One quick note on that, set your sights so your sights are set uh, as, as centered as possible. Don't adjust your sights to the lasers, adjust your sights just like your live fire pistol would be, which is pretty much center, and then bring the lasers to your sights because we want to, uh, you, you know, we, we want to have your natural point of aim be developed, of course, you know, towards your live fire gun because that's what we're all working for, right? So anyhow, uh, a lot of people actually don't really notice this, but in the very back part, we have a um, tool that pops out and not only does this allow to take off and adjust the grip, all right, but also this allows us to have a little hex wrench here to adjust the lasers. So when we adjust the lasers, um, it, it's righty tighty lefty loosey. So think of adjusting the lasers as adjusting the back end of the laser. The front end's fixed. So if you have righty tighty, you know, back end's down, laser goes up. Okay. If you're on the other side, you know, you're righty tighty, it, it's going to drive the back end around. But honestly, it's a lot simpler than that. Just go one direction. And if it's not going the right way, then just go the other direction. It's, it's, that's probably the easiest <laughs> way to really, to really get this done. So right here, what I do is I have a hole on the top right here, okay? And that is going to adjust up and down that shot indicating laser right there, all right? As you can see, kind of right in there. And then on the side, this is gonna be your windage, all right? So you can adjust left and right of that shot indicating laser. So commonly, really how this is done, uh, I pick an object uh, off in the distance there, I'll line up the sights, all right? And then I'll break the shot, and then I'm gonna bring that over. I gotta pull it all the way back. Okay, boom. And this one actually, I might bring it up a little bit. So I know if I go righty tighty, it's gonna bring that back end down and it brings it up right to about sight picture. All right, all right. If you're, of course, shooting really close range a lot, just in your house, sometimes you wanna bring that laser up a little bit just so it cuts sight picture. Uh, the only problem with that is if you shoot far targets, like you're trying to peg a 50 yard target, it's gonna go up because there's no, obviously no, no bullet drop with the laser. So that is the basics of adjusting the, the shot indicating laser. Now, adjusting the take up laser, you might wanna adjust take up laser to get it way out of sight picture, or in some cases, you may want to adjust it to be right at sight picture. All right, like if you're training up, you don't know if you want to really use a, a by a laser, like a crimson taste laser or something like that. Okay, well, you can kind of vet it out with your shirt a little bit and, and bring it up to sight picture at a, at a given distance. So, anyways, whatever you're choosing, here's how you do it. So, you can see right in here, we have right below uh, the windage um, to the shot indicating laser, here is the windage to the take up laser. So, I'll kind of show you right here like this. So the red one, of course, is a take-up laser. Now, you will have to switch it on with the switch right here, all right? So you just flick this switch uh, forward, all right, to activate the trigger take-up laser. And then I can actually go right tidy and bring that thing down a bit, all right, and up. So I can just adjust it to my liking. Um, and of course, on the windage side right here, boom, you know, I can adjust it left or right, all right? Uh, again, you can use this tool or use any 1.5 millimeter hex wrench. This tool is nice and convenient because obviously, you know, if you're right out on the range or right at home, you can pop this out and adjust it. It works incredibly well. So that is the basics of how to adjust the lasers.